Hello, welcome to The Groomsman. I'm Fayez, I'll be your host. Today we'll be doing a nice shave um, using some things I haven't used in a while. The soap will be um, First Line Shaving Razor Ruby Undead. And this is currently not available, but they usually come out with it most Octobers around, you know, Halloween. <clears throat> the design, the logo, or the label is by Chicano Designs. Um, here's the tub. I'm letting it air dry since um, I literally just finished tub loading it. <clears throat> but there's part of that. And this is a scent I'm always going to have. Like, I'm never letting this tub go. So, um, definitely going to tub load that. But first line shave. Chicana Design. It's in their um, 3.0 base. Which, yeah, that's that's it. There's that. Um, if I can find the scent notes, I'll put them on here. I know I've used this before. Um, but beautiful cologne type scent. Um, and one thing I was looking at last night with the label and I noticed um, you know she's got tattoos and I've already kind of noticed that but if you look at her arm there's um, a grizzly bay grizzly bay bear and a GB and I was like that looks familiar and the brush that I always use with this set is my grizzly bay so serious uh, joker colored brush <clears throat> so I think that's a Actually, I'm pretty sure that's an homage to, or a shout out to Grizzly Bay. I'm not sure what the relation is with this set. Um, we got some chocolate on my lip. Um, I'm, I'm drinking some coffee this morning, and my wife got us some, um, this like whipped cream. Oh, this smells so good. The scent strength on this is probably like a seven. It's solid. I love this scent. <clears throat> Top five cologne scents for me. I wish I remembered what it was based off of, but beautiful scent. Um, and I have the Venule pre-shave oil on my face. It's become a staple. It's the only pre-shave I've got currently and probably the only one I'll have unless I feel like trying the Razor Emporium one one day, which I do want to try. Um, <clears throat> but going back to the coffee, you can see there's going to be chocolate on the lip. So it's in my dog dad mug that my wife got us. She got herself a dog mom one. But it's got whipped cream in it. And it's chocolate whipped cream and it's thick. So it like gets on your lip or your mustache. <clears throat> anyway. The razor today is the Rec Supply... Um, console and it's in the polished finish very nice razor very smooth and efficient <clears throat> I've got a second use Gillette Platinum in here the grip on this is good with the diamond knurling I don't find it as good as the um, ambassador The Ambassador probably has the best grip on the market for me, in my opinion. But this is close. I mean, like, going up and down, it's not slippery, but going like this, it's kind of slippery. I'm on setting six, and this is buttery smooth. I mean, <laughs> we know the Ambassador is my favorite razor. And I've, I like blade feel. But the console is contending for that number one spot. <clears throat> so, in other news, I got a new tattoo last Friday. It's a cobra that goes into my elbow and onto my forearm into a vase. I freaking love this thing. But what it means is it's still healing. I, you can't see it now because I got lotion on there, so it's not as dry, but it's peeling. So I try not to bend my elbow that much. So this whole week, I got it last Friday on the 17th. This whole week, I've been shaving with just my right arm. And it's pretty annoying. I know a lot of guys only shave with their dominant hand, which mine is my right arm.
But I actually have with both arms, with both hands. <clears throat> with the grain, it's not an issue. It's easy for me. Um, going with the opposite side. But um, I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee real quick. It's really good coffee. It's um, <clears throat> Bones Coffee Company, and there's one that she got from Halloween time. It's based on Nightmare Before Christmas, and it's Mudslide Oogie or Boogie or something. It's based on that that um, sack or whatever kind of bag he is, and he's a ghost type spirit, and it's a mudslide flavored coffee. It's really good. I like sweet stuff, obviously, so. <clears throat> and then I put a little bit of chocolate creamer in there and then that chocolate um, foam on top. It's a little, it's a desserty coffee, I'm not gonna lie. I made sure the, to put it on the bold setting on the coffee maker and there's a good coffee to chocolate ratio flavor. Alright, still on setting six. I love this razor, like the polish on here is really nice. Um, Just enough blade feel in the higher settings. And I think the clamp or the slant helps clamp the blade. Really well. And um, I know this weekend, actually today, Saturday, um, is it Saturday? Yeah. The tw is today the 25th? Yes, because last Friday was the 17th. And today's Saturday. So, today I believe is the Razor Emporium, um, well, Razor Emporium will be there, but it's the Arizona Shave Meetup. I'm not sure who all is going. I know Matt Pasarsik will be there, um, WSP will be there. They're based in Arizona, I believe. Doug and Fran are usually there, and I'm sure they're there this year from Phoenix Shaving. I'm not, you know, I don't know, but I'm sure they'll be there. They usually go to all those. This is the tricky bit going opposite arm. And I go from nose to ear, or medial to lateral, as we like to say in the medical world, talking anatomical positions. Going medial to lateral is a lot trickier because I'm reaching across. It's kind of like when you see a quarterback throw across his body across the field, if you're a football fan. It's usually a no-no, unless you're Patrick Mahomes. Still not bad, still super smooth. Um, the grip is good, even though I've got water and soap on my fingers. Again, not as good as the Ambassador, but um, I'm gonna add a little bit more water in the bowl. But it's good enough for me not to worry about it. Um, the only difference that I feel over time, especially with me shaving with only my right hand, I've actually noticed this a little bit more, is you get a little bit of fatigue in your fingers if, if you have to worry about the grip more. And I'm not saying that's a noticeable thing with the console, but consider that it's polished and um, that adds to the slipperiness. Which is why it's interesting when people say polishing the razors doesn't increase the glide on your face. Well, if it increases the slipperiness of the handle, I would think it would increase the slipperiness on the head to your face, you know what I mean? And I've, I've got a thing to test that with too. Because I got another carb razor. 
and I've been using it. It's a G Play Open Film like I've had before, but mine was polished by myself before, and it felt a lot smoother than, than this one feels, and I haven't polished this one yet. So when I polish it soon, after my tattoo heals, um, I'll polish it and I'll report back, I think, what I think of it. Um, all right, third pass against the grain. Still on setting six. If you've got a console, highly recommend these um, Gillette Platinum blades. Gillette Platinum and Gillette um, Silver Blue. They've been my go-to in this razor. I used the Ambassador yesterday, but I'm shaving a little bit later today, so there's a little bit more than 24 hours growth. But the, the Rex Ambassador is super efficient, so it's not gonna look like I have much growth on there. And honestly, I don't care. <laughs> I don't do this for people to watch me mow down eight to 10 days of growth. I do this because I enjoy it and some, some of you guys enjoy it. I'm pretty sure. All right, the most tricky part right here is against the grain opposite side. <laughs> so it gets like progressively more tricky as I go through the shave. Like with the grain is easy, across the grain kind of tricky against the grain because I'm kind of, I have to go at an angle, diagonally. And I've used long and short handles this week. I think short handles actually is easier for me to go across like this. I'm going to take my glasses off to get this part because I shaved my head yesterday afternoon. I just want to make sure. For those that don't know, I can't see anything. <laughs> my prescription is negative seven and a half. <clears throat> so seeing anything with my glasses off is not possible unless you're like right here. <clears throat> All right. I think that's good. I'm gonna actually go down this way. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of lather on my neck. Do a little bit of a touch, touch up. And this is where the ambassador wins for me. The efficiency. Now, again, console is efficient. But my neck hairs, I just, I don't know if it's the coarseness. And it's not a lot. That's left there. But when you're used to how smooth the ambassador gets you, <clears throat> that's that there's no better smoothness for me than after using the ambassador on setting six for three passes. It's like the ultimate smoothness. I should get it off. All right, cold water rinse.
Sorry for having my back turned to you. Um, I'm going to put some witch hazel on. <clears throat> Just T.N. Dickinson's witch hazel. <laughs> Nothing special. I'll get the rest of that soap out of my face or out of my beard. Nice and smooth. <clears throat> While that sits in my face for a second, I'm gonna drink some coffee. <clears throat> now the foam has melted into the coffee more. I'm not getting that, that stuck on my mustache anymore. <clears throat> Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'll rinse everything off, the brush and everything after off camera. This video has gone long enough. Um, I need to go back to pausing it probably. Here's the aftershave. The bottle is really cool. We've got a gradient or gradient right there with the color of the green, and it's clear up top, but it's green on the bottom. So it's really cool. <clears throat> um, and I've got the trifecta actually. I've got the EDP or yeah, it's an EDP, not EDT. Um, I will warn you, the scent strength on the splash and on the EDP is probably an 8 out of 10. And I've noticed that with first line shaving, there, um, the weight, I have that EDP and aftershave, and I've got thought I had one more EDP from first time shaving, but I guess not. Oh yeah, I do. It's the, um, it's James, which I actually use this, this week, during the week. <clears throat> but their scent strength is like an 8, maybe more, maybe 8 plus, 8, 9, 8.5 to 9. Um, so if you're going to wear something like this to like a function or to work or something, use a little bit because <laughs> it's strong. All right. Recap, I use the um, First Line Shaving Razor Ruby Undead Beautiful Scent. It's not available just yet. Um, hopefully it comes back this year again. Um, look at that label. Chicano Designs, man. Killed it. Beautiful. Um, went with the matching. It's not a set, but I'm pretty sure they kind of did this on purpose. They didn't, I don't, they didn't see anything about that, but um, the Grizzly Bay So Serious with a Fanchuria knot. Um, and then the trifecta of the Razor Ruby, like I said before, polished Razor um, Rex console and um, beautiful Razor with a second use Gillette Platinum. And yeah, that's it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know what kind of coffees you like. Let me know if you've had this scent. I'm curious how many people have actually gotten this scent because you don't really see it a lot in the shave of the days until October. So um, let me know what you guys think and see you next time.